Don't you hate it when your phone manufacturer announces an update for your phone that contains a cool new feature that you've been waiting for, only to be disappointed because your phone carrier delays its release or worse still, decides not to release it at all? In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the latest update for your phone regardless of which phone carrier you have. And I could do this because I am the High Tech Nomad. Hi, I'm Mormon Beckles and welcome to another video. By the time you finish this video, you'll know how to get the latest update for your phone regardless of which phone carrier you're on. Inside of your phone is a small chip known as a SIM card, which stands for Subscriber Information Module. Think of it like a gym membership card. The owner of the card gets all the rights and privileges that that gym has to offer. If your SIM card doesn't match the network you're trying to access, you won't be allowed and you won't get those updates. You'll be turned away at the door. The solution is as simple as you might think. Simply switch SIM cards and you'll be allowed on that network, which means you'll get those updates. Now you don't have to switch forever. You can get a temporary card for between 20 and $40. And once you put that card in, you'll get all the updates. Let me give you an example. There's a feature I want on my phone that's available for T-Mobile customers, but it's currently not ver available for Verizon customers. Let's get that update so I can get that feature. Here's my phone with the Verizon SIM, and you'll see an item called an IMEI. There's a feature out that will give me two IMEIs. It's available for T-Mobile customers, but not for Verizon customers at this time. I'm going to take out my Verizon SIM and I will put in my T-Mobile SIM. Now my phone is on the T-Mobile network. I'm going to click on software update. When I do this, now that I'm on the T-Mobile network, it's going to say, hi, welcome to the club. And here is an update that's available. And Bob's your uncle. That's the one I want. You'll see down at the bottom, it says dual SIM support. That's the feature that I desperately want and I'll tell you why in the video. But after a few minutes, I'll put back in my Verizon SIM. It will show that we now have two IMEI. And don't worry, even though we put the Verizon SIM back in, Verizon won't uninstall the update that T-Mobile was very kind to give us. I've heard something about phones being locked. What does that mean? Does my phone need to be unlocked for this to work? Great question. A locked phone means it's locked to the network that you bought it from. If you bought a phone from Verizon, the phone will only work on the Verizon network, even if you'd switch SIM cards. The good news is that most phones are sold unlocked today, so there's no need to worry about that. And if your phone is locked, a quick call to customer service and they'll unlock it in most cases. If like me, you're going to do some traveling this summer, you're going to have to know how to make use of this dual SIM feature to install a cheap data plan on your phone. And I'll show you how to do that in an upcoming video. In the comments below, let me know if there is some other specific feature that you would like to learn how to add to your phone. If you found this video at all helpful, you may want to consider becoming a member. In return for supporting the channel, you will get access to exclusive videos and live stream events. Until the next video, this is Orman Beckles, AKA the High Tech Nomad, signing out.